Hey guys, Lamaru here, back with another Raid Shadow Legends video. Today we're going to be doing another guide for you, and it's going to be on Mr. Grizzle Jarl. Is it Jarl or Yarl? I don't know. Um, if you played Skyrim enough, you probably should know this answer. But he's got sausage fingers, I just realized. <laughs> yeah, so that's been our guide on Grizzled Jarl. Let us know how you enjoyed it, and <laughs> we'll see you next time. <laughs> yeah, so besides the sausage fingers, he also has a couple of good skills. Uh, his A1 has a heal reduction, uh, booked up to 50%. You don't really need this booked. The one thing that you do need completely booked, however, is going to be his A2. His Ancestral Shield, which places a block debuff for one turn and an increased defense on our allies for two turns. Uh, super good for clan boss. You have to make sure he goes last, though, before the stun. That's basically what he's there for. And then his A3 is an Earth Stomp. He attacks all enemies, decreases attack on all of them, booked up to 100%, and also decreases each target's max HP by the damage inflicted. I didn't actually realize he decreased people's max HP. I yeah. thought it was just the the attack down. Yeah, I use them in um, Ice Combo all the time. This is basically just um, a clan boss slash dungeon builds. If you don't have enough accuracy on them, instead of going down the defense tree, you can go down the accuracy tree and just pick up the usual suspects for... For um, the support tree, basically. Yeah, for the support tree. Um, I tried to gear him in um, not so well, I'd say. I have him at exactly 170 speed because you want him to go after... You want him to go last, but before the stun. So I think that's the correct speed to be at. We'll uh, check during the Nightmare demonstration. But yeah, he only has 5-star gear, and I tried not to roll all of it up. Um, he does have a 6-star shield. I, however, just kept it at 8. This is probably his best piece here, just because it's 6-star and level 16. And then crit damage, and you don't need him... If you're using him specifically for clan boss, you don't need accuracy on him. However, if he is your only attack down, you would need an accuracy banner instead. Do you have anything to say about Grizzle Jarl? Um, honestly, no. He's kind of he's new to me, too. I, I've never actually pulled one. Oh, I used him uh, a lot in my account when i first started i think he was like one of my like the first four or five epics yeah he's very solid like i, I like i know what his abilities and stuff are i've just never actually used him mm -hmm. we're going to pop him in here i mean he's two to the left on your stag yeah i know where he is i was just testing you <laughs> just trying success to yeah i'm just trying to figure out who else i want do like an apothecary yeah, that's a good one. Um, yeah, there's not going to be a lot of damage on this team, actually. We'll give it a try, though. Basically, I just want to get to the point where we get to the boss and we can show off Grizzle Jarl's A3. So, on auto, he's always going to use his A2 first. And we'll see how hard he can hit here. Yeah. Earth Stomp, 34. Yo, what? I've never seen that ability. Yes. That was, that was beyond weird. I honestly, I loved that ability. That's like the animation for that was like one of my favorites when I first started playing. And now you're just like, do it faster. Do yeah. it faster. <laughs> you got that yeah, ability I, back super fast. Yeah, I like that he has a, I like that he has the increased defense too. Yeah. Yeah, block debuffs help a ton on the um, Ice Golem as well. He's very good for Ice Golem. He's only at 170 speed now. Why is he using that ability like every other? Uh, that was just a dumb time. He could have murdered her. All right, now we need you to use that ability again. Maybe he's just go cycling through his turns really fast and I'm not noticing. Maybe. Maybe that was it. All right. Well, yeah. that sucks. Yeah. This is the wave that gets people in trouble. Specifically oh. because of... Terror Beast. Yeah. Oh, how did Doom Priest kill herself, of all people? I, I, don't, I think she got attacked a few times and then... I don't know. 
All right, well, I just wanted to show you once you get here what he can do. The defense down, and he doesn't have that yet. So he is in lifesteal gear, so oh, well, that completely counters that then. <laughs> It's because you spoke. What a rude guy. <laughs> All right. So this is where he comes in handy, especially if you don't have a block revive, is that every time he attacks these ice golems, they are going to lose their max HP. And when they are revived, they will no longer have their full health bar. So if you're someone that's... Basically, just trudging through this dungeon very, very slowly to have them have a lot less HP every single time they revive comes in handy a lot. But we're probably going to kill this boss in just under five minutes here. Yeah. And with Doom Priest doing absolutely nothing to help the ghost. Yes, for real. 27k, what a noob. Yeah, the Grizzle Jarl, 1.4 mil. Basically, the same as all the other damage dealers. And he heals himself in lifesteal gear. All right, um, where else would you like to see him in? Uh, Faction Wars. Oh, yeah, they're open today. Yeah. Nice. We're good at timing. Yeah, we definitely planned this. Um, honestly, Dwarfs oh, is yo, literally... Your dwarf, yo, your dwarf faction crypt is a thousand times better than mine. Yeah, you literally <laughs> need legendaries to run Dwarves, and to get it to this point, it's... Unless you had like three re rear guard sergeants, you're not going to do very well in it. They have no defense down. Um, they do get a lot of attack downs. But yeah, you have to really rely on pulling at least one good Lego and hopefully two. Yeah, and I don't have any any dwarf legendaries. And I only have like two, two or three epics, I think. I just don't pull dwarfs, apparently. Why are you a dwarf hater? I mean, I'm not. I'd love. I I would love to pull dwarfs because then my faction wars would be much better. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm saying, he doesn't do much in this case, just because he's literally being carried by legendaries. Yeah. Um, the rear guard sergeant's a much better fit than he is. Because she does healing, and that's one thing dwarves lack a lot in, and they also lack in AoE defense down as well. So, not even the best epic to use. Especially against force waves. But, he really loves putting up that shield. <laughs> He's really good at it too. Yeah. yeah. Having that provoke with Molly is super good. Yeah. I mean, your your team is super sustainable, so... You say I that, but like... I can't even three-star the boss, the epic boss. Well, is your rear guard built up? Does she have any gear on her? Uh, not the most. I feel like that's probably a big part of it. Like oh. one, one, one crappy character in your boss wave is kaput. Yeah. Second Molly wouldn't be terrible. I wanted to bowl a Trunda, though. No, absolutely. That'd be sick. All right. Well, you get the idea. He basically does the exact same thing as he does. But he is useful on the boss waves, on the boss levels, because of his block debuffs and his defense up. Yeah. So he does put in work there. Yeah. Uh, we don't need to do this anymore. You get the general gist of it. Uh, he does his AoEs, helps on waves a lot as well. Okay. Up next. We do dragon? Yeah. Dragon cool. He's pretty good in dragon. And then War Maiden. Yeah, there you go. I like that. I like this team a lot. Well, uh, it is probably speed tuned. Get your block buffs up. Biggest issue though is his block buffs only last one turn. So if he's if you're the rest of your team is lapping the enemy team they're gonna just have it fall off before they even get a chance to go which is unfortunate yeah i mean i guess that's where apothecary screws things out a little bit it just pushes everyone too fast yeah if he pushes them over 200 and... he's a pusher i was like you're about to do like a seinfeld bit he's a pusher jerry 
I don't, I don't watch Seinfeld. <laughs> okay, well, sounded like it. And now you have to go watch Seinfeld. I mean, I've seen enough memes to know that Seinfeld doesn't have a purpose. Yeah, the show was literally about nothing. That was the whole basis of the show. And then in, yeah. inside the show, they made a show about nothing. Oh, good God, really? Yeah, and it's one of the best TV shows ever made. Is Am I allowed this... to hard pass? No. I, don't know, I guess I just grew up watching it, so I appreciated it. Well, you uncultured swines, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're at All the right. uh, boss here in a minute 35, and then Frozen Manchie is going to do her work, and if... Nope, the debuffs fell off. I mean, he'd be good with the debuff extender. That is true, and he'd also be good in the support tree so that you could um, extend his debuffs as well. Yeah. I feel like yeah, a, a one turn is kind of weird. It is really weird. You have to speed to them perfectly, basically. Yeah. There's a couple people that had it up still. Uh, decrease attack doesn't really... Sorry, def decrease max HP doesn't really do anything on bosses. The uh, decrease attack, though, really helps. Make sure you live a lot longer. All right, and it should be dead basically in 20 seconds or less. There it is. 20 seconds is literally <laughs> done in five. Yeah. Accuracy, speed, nice. All right, did 545k. Um, could do a lot more. Like I said, he's just not geared for damage right now. So we're going to do clan boss first. And luckily, it's spirit. Or actually, that might screw everything up. We'll see. All right, so this is the team. We're gonna take it off auto for a second. And I don't really know too much of what I wanna do here in terms of the order that I wanna attack in, but we'll figure it out. So, that's done. Three turns, so that wouldn't be up yet. So we're just trying to get it to basically go, I don't think I tuned him right. I think he had to be 169 speed. Think he's too fast? I think he's one speed too fast. No, that'll work out. Yeah, yeah it'll work. But uh, now the speed's going to be all screwed up. So let's oh, yeah. just um, speed everyone up a bit. I don't think that's going to do it for you. No? All right, so basically this is what he's here for, is that he has his block debuffs up, and I might have fed Frozen Banshee up too fast now, because she might be going again. Nope, perfect. All right, so we're just going to set that on auto now and see what a team of basically free-to-play can do. Got two rares. Skull Crusher would be the hardest one to get. And then the Battle Pass Epic. Any predictions, sir? Um, I don't know. This is a tough one. Because uh, let's. I'm going to say like 25, because I don't remember how everyone was geared. Is that a. Is that a sustainable number no i'd say probably it, it would probably be a two key at least on nightmare uh the biggest issue is just it's completely gone out of whack because of the speed so having a doom priest on this would have probably helped a ton more but yeah they all have their um war master slash giant slayer so it should still do work and we will see how it goes so he's gonna die soon maybe <laughs> Yeah, probably. Yeah, yep. he, he is dead. The man is dead. So I don't think this run's going to go quite how you expected? You said 25 mil. I said right. like four. Check the four. tape. 
<laughs> like four million. Yeah. Uh, so basically, as soon as Coffin Smasher died and Stagnite got like resisted or something on the. Yeah, we had three attack downs and it felt like it just fell off. But this is basically a team that you'd be building when you first get to Nightmare. I feel like a Doom Priest would have changed that run up completely, though. Oh, yeah, for sure. If you so. have a Doom Priest, definitely use her when it's on Spirit. She will help you out a ton. We're basically going to rip him out of all of this, and I'm just going to build him for... See how hard he can hit. Are you ready for this? Absolutely. All right, I just threw a bunch of gear on him now. Uh, 54k power now, Grizzle Jarl. Got <laughs> 4.23k defense, 175 speed, 96% crit rate, damage. <laughs> 254. So we're going to send him back into Ice Golem and say what's up to the minions again. See if hearing him in damage is actually going to help speed up your runs at all. Let's so go. Maybe t I was going to say take Doom Priest though because she did nothing. Maybe put a reviver in because I feel like he might kill himself. But well, if he kills himself, he's the greatest dwarf that ever lived. Slow I don't know down. what that means. I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see it. Boom, sixty-five oh, k's. That uh, that was a lot better. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot better. Fifty k a ones. I feel like he is definitely going to kill himself on the second wave. Sixty-eight k's. I mean, the timing could... Never mind. I was going to say the timing could be different. Miscreated Monster could use his, uh, his stun, but he just screwed everything out. Did he just use it? Yep. Oh. And, and for some reason, they like to focus on Drake. Yeah, they're like, oh, Drake's the biggest threat to us. Ooh. Oh, and that, the two he didn't stun. Well, at least he got that off before, so he might not kill himself now. Yeah. Because he might actually use his single targets. And they have their shields up, so Doom Priest is still alive. Yeah, Doom Priest plus Stagnite plus um, Miscreated Monster is a crazy epic team. 66k, good job not killing yourself, guys. And what was yeah. it before, like a five and a half minute run? It was, no, it was 4.46 or something. All right. I think that's what it was. Everyone's just going to use their buffs first. Yeah, they're like, you, you're not touching us. So as you can see there, that bar is going down a lot more. Yeah. Now let's kill them and see how much they come back with. Probably their full amount minus that bar. Is that what it'll be? Yeah, probably. Okay, get them stunned up. I kind of want both of them to be alive. 89k plus War Master proc, pretty good. He's gonna use it now. Oh no, he's not. Maybe not. I feel like the boss hasn't taken any turns yet. No, he took one. Yeah, see, it wasn't that far. It's a little bit bigger, but. Because it's only 30% of the damage you do, right? Yeah. Okay, let's see him hit again. Uh, boom! Kapowie. So, kill him off, 89k. So you could definitely build your Grizzled Jarl in full out attacking if yeah. you really wanted to. Doing damage Jarl ain't a bad thing. Call him damage Jarl. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no, he's frozen. Well, it's a good thing that he has Doom Priest on the team to take it off after he took his turn. <laughs> Alright, well, it looks like the bar has gotten basically where it got last time. And what do you think? Like a four minute run? Take off like 40 seconds? Yeah, something like that. T -t -t Today, Junior? I'm basically just going to wait for it to go to the end. Yeah. Okay, everyone started to attack the big ice golem. Oh, it's did I click on that? 
What? I, I think I might have accidentally clicked on the big no, ass column. They, then... they, autom- they automatically attack him once his last phase is done. All right, and 424, so not terrible. That's pretty good. So Chris Jarl carries the team, did about a million more damage. Yo, and, that's actually, he actually did some pretty good damage. And did, did zero healing this time. Yeah. Um, You could also use him. I'm not going to run him through it, but you could also use him in, like, beginner stage Fire Knights just so that you can get a heal reduction on the boss if you have no one else. And where else? So Spirit Keep as well. You could use him in Spirit Keep because of the heal reduction. Yeah. And and because the all around effectiveness of his abilities, but I, the heal reduction is sick. I would say <laughs> use him as a nuker in uh, arena. <laughs> now you're just pushing. <laughs> what, you don't think you can kill Tormund CV Arbiter? I mean, he's at like one seventy speed. He should be able to go right. Oh, I guess so. So as a nuker, he is. Okay, wow. Yo. He actually did it. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, apparently, if you build someone with like 250% crit damage, they can just nuke Arbiters and uh, Madams. So, yeah. Then smack Torm in the face. I literally am right. so surprised. Yeah, let's just do another team to make sure oh, yeah. that keep doing that <laughs> make sure that wasn't a fluke there let's do it again did i like drop down to like gold one when i was wasn't looking okay that makes more sense i was gonna say that he's not speed tuned um but he can just toss up another one he can take these off and you can go to sleep. Night, night. You're supposed to take your turn again. Okay, well, let's see if he can at least... Uh... Why is that on cooldown? What? I'm confused. Does Blood Gorge have an ability that does, does it? does, yeah. That's annoying. Oh my god. I think it's honestly just because he has high crit damage, right? He, we're not, we haven't missed out on the best nuker in the world, right? Just a, just an epic that everyone sleeps on. Yeah. Okay, yeah, does he have it up now? Okay. Well, this person doesn't have their tower booked, so that's a big thing. Yeah. I can't believe I've won two matches in a row. People are going to be looking at their logs and be like, did I just lose to a Grizzled Jarl? Yeah, for real. <laughs> Honestly, I was not expecting to be doing uh, Arena with him, but this is pretty dope. I mean, obviously, this whole team is carried by CP Arbiter and stuff, but maybe it isn't. And maybe it's Grizzled Jarl that's actually been carrying the team the whole time. That's actually probably best case scenario, is because you'd want Duchess and Arbor to die at the same time. Yeah. She didn't even revive. Yeah, that's a little strange. Watching this in one times hurts my soul. I honestly, one times is literally like half times. I don't know who I want to kill here. Cause she don't has... do, just don't do fully. Yeah, I know that. Made that mistake too many times. Thank you. Uh-oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry I didn't mean it. Yeah, make you go to sleep. So hey, broken. Stop getting those twenty percent chances. Uh, we're gonna kill you. Earth stop everybody. Oh, okay, that works too. Smack you. <laughs> And uh, speed up. This is literally like the longest arena match I've ever done. I mean, it's worth it. Do it for Grocery Dan. 
Grocery Dan, shout out Grocery Dan. He finally dead. Yeah. Okay, then we can get this on, and we can just smack her. Hopefully she doesn't revive. Put her to sleep again. Go to sleep. <laughs> It was the trolliest thing I've ever seen, and I love it. I want to get Grizzle Jarl. Final kill for the win. Boom. <laughs> All right. Well, well, now now we know that he can work in arena yeah. in Gold Four Arena. Yeah. So basically, he's top five like arena champion in the game. <laughs> we we just figured it out too. Yeah. I got to get him into my three v three teams and everything. Um, he's not great as a campaign farmer, however. He should be able to help you out. I'm going to test something here. See if him and Sifi can do 12-7. Might take a while. So we're just going to fast forward and we'll let you know the results. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. All right. Well, that didn't work because he literally got peril on the first turn. So that's annoying. Yeah. But pretty yeah i like i said i'm pretty sure nightmare he gets peril every time and that's why it's nightmare yeah i don't even know how you would gear someone to su survive it but then again doesn't per does peril get through unkillable or is it just a block revive i don't even know um it's i don't just know, a block I don't know revive. More to, yeah i don't know more to macabre very well even though i have one <laughs> uh one more thing that we forgot to do is we forgot to give grizzle girl a rating I'm surprised he only has 624 ratings. He's much better than that. Uh, clan boss, yes. He yeah, does clan. things that are useful. Arena offense, tank beast. Arena defense, sure, very good. Campaign locations. Um, he's good if you're uh, progressing through Nightmare Campaign and just trying to get two stars. Uh, Spear keep, yep. Spider's Den, I'd say there's a lot better champions than him for it now. Dragonstone, yep. Minnow's Lair, yeah. I don't really think people are bad at Minotaur's Lair. <laughs> it's hard to be bad at it. Yeah. Um, Fire Knight, he's probably good up until stage 10. Ice Golem, great at stage 20. Force Keep. No, you're not that good because you're weak affinity. Magic, you're neutral. Void, it's whatever. And Faction Wars, Dwarf is so hard that you just need good but he can work out for you up until probably like the stage is 13, 14 area. I submit them. Um, in terms of his actual recommended gear, you could use defense, but it's basically whatever gets you to that speed you need for clan boss, which I believe... It says, it says HP boots. Yeah. I, I'm done with this. Yeah. <laughs> fire, fire whoever gets these recommendations. Um, you need speed boots, defense chest... If you have enough defense, like at least like 3k for Nightmare and like 3500 for Ultra Nightmare, I'd go crit rate. If you get enough crit rate, go crit damage gloves. And yeah, this is whatever stuff's going to help you. As you can see here, literally the two sets I have are crit damage and speed. All right, well, that has been our Grizzled Jarl, basically the man of mystery. He can do a ton. If you enjoy this content, toss us a like, and if you want to see more, toss us a sub.